This gorgeous apple tart is kind of on the rustic side. No fancy tart shells here. Instead, this tart is all about that fan of sliced apples. Baked together with the tart and then covered in a shiny apple marmalade glaze. Let's begin with the apples. So what we're going to do is we're going to core them using an apple corer. Then for this recipe, you want to make sure that your apples are peeled. And by the way, I'm using green Granny Smith apples. Once you've peeled them, slice them in half and then very carefully, and it's not a race guys, you're not in a commercial kitchen. You want to make sure you thinly slice the apples. Pop those into a bowl along with some brown sugar, fresh lemon juice, vanilla extract, and some powdered cinnamon. You're going to gently mix all of that together. The aim here is to coat those apples, but you don't want to break the apple slices. Let's set those aside and move on to making that really easy tart shell. There's no chilling in the fridge for an hour. There's no rolling out. This is really easy. So you're going to add some flour to a large mixing bowl, along with some brown sugar, some salt, some cinnamon and you're going to use a whisk to whisk and combine all of that together. Then you're going to pour some melted butter and working quickly you're going to mix this together until it forms a dough. Pour that mixture into your 9 inch tart tin with a removable bottom and you're going to use the back of a spoon to firmly press that into the sides and bottom of the tart tin. Arrange those apples on top. Now they are all mixed together and the slices aren't quite together anymore, but just get little bunches of slices together and just place them into the tart shell. This is all about looking rustic. It doesn't have to look perfect, but any way you do it, it's going to look nice and pretty. Once you've got those arranged in there, you're going to put some little cubed pieces of butter. These are being chilled in the fridge. And then you're going to sprinkle it with some caster sugar. This is going to go in the oven to bake for one hour. Once it's baked, let it cool down for about 20 or 30 minutes. You can serve this warm or cold. To finish it off, we're just going to use a pastry brush and brush it with some apple marmalade. Alternatively, you can use apricot preserve if you like. This tart is so easy to make. I mean, a, an hour in the oven is a little on the long side, but I mean, it's so quick to make. You just forget about it in the oven for an hour and then it's ready. Slice it up, serve it with some whipped cream or some mascarpone cheese. And guys, this thing is absolutely deliciously gorgeous. And if you want to grab the recipe, it's over on my website at scranline.com. Thank you so much for joining me in my kitchen. Hit the like button if you haven't and you enjoyed this video. And if you want to see other videos from me, they're up on screen right now. By the way, guys, I've had a couple people saying that I sound a little bit sick or tired in my videos. I'm actually... <laughs> I'm pretty good. I'm feeling great, but I think I need to stop recording these voiceovers at the end of the day because I kind of sound like I've had a big day and today I have been baking up a storm. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you all on the next episode of The Scranline.